Guys, I'm Michael Allen. And I'm D'Angelo at TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Guys, it's Friday, so we must be going to the green market. Let's go. Haven't been there in forever. I know, right? We're yeah. going to turn this around so you don't have to see it one, at least one of our ugly mugs. All right, guys, we're going to walk there. We're going, okay, so every Friday they have what's called the green market, or we call it the Friday market or whatever, where the uh, local farmers come in and bring their produce. Uh, usually have chicken and eggs and knickknacks, sometimes things like underwear and socks. Lots here's of vegetables. Park. Here's a park, guys. Uh, they have it on Monday as well, but Monday is more of an organic type of market. Uh, not as big as the Friday market, um, but it is also on Mondays. Now, we hate to say this, and actually we feel embarrassed to say this. We did a video on this green market, I would say, let's go maybe 10 years ago. Oof, at least, yeah. And I probably haven't been in there since then. <laughs> nor have i i don't it's it's not far um but there are so many kind of options closer to my place so i go there my thing is i have vegetables and fruits just almost every day and um i can't just stack up on carrots on one day so uh, although it's only maybe two minutes from my house i just don't go there but i literally have a fruit stand uh, like 10 steps away from my front door. This guy's everywhere in La Fortuna right here. Hi. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah he's, he sells these little... Go, do it, do it. All right, this what you clap on this way. One, two, three, four, open liver. Position this and the four hold in your finger. This is for my friend. There you go. You should buy 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 like ten for the kids and. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. I think it's for you for my life. That guy's a staple here in Fortuna. He sells those every day. Goes around and I don't want to say he bothers tourists, but kind of. <laughs> <laughs> for at least the last 12, 15 years. <laughs> This would be a good example of a soda. You know, a soda is like a little mom and pop family run uh, little restaurant. Things tend to be kind of uh, cheap. Buffet type of style as well. Yeah, a lot of rice and beans and pieces of chicken and plantains and salad. Oh, by the yeah, we used to go to this, uh, this green market every Friday. <laughs> Uh, but that again was 10 years ago. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of options back then. Now there's closer options. Yeah, there's just so many. There, uh, like uh, D'Angelo said, there didn't used to be any really vegetable stands. and uh, But now there's, oh my God. There are every other corner. Yeah. Okay, guys, here's the bus station. So all the buses from San Jose, uh, Cida Casada, San Ramon come in through here. Uh, the bus system is pretty decent here. It's on time, it can be a little slow, uh, a slow roll, but as far as being the buses being on time, they usually are. If you're a tourist here, you'll get bombarded with uh, hawkers trying to sell you tours as soon as you get off the bus, tours and hotel rooms. Uh, not too bad. <laughs> Missing this, Michael. What? Oh, come look at this sucker. He's at least four or five feet long. Oh, that's a big iguana. Can you get him? Can you see him right there? A male, because he's orange, I believe. That means he's a male. Man, he's big. Yeah, he is big. I always like that coloring too, that gold. A long time ago, we did a uh, video on this soda because it was real. It was one of the cheapest in uh, La Fortuna. You could get a, a nice cassado, which is uh, the rice and beans and plantains and chicken for like 2,000 colones, which back then was like $4. Uh, it's still very popular, but I'm sure the prices went up a little bit. Prices went up a bit. 
but it's still cheap. All right, we just got to cross this bridge. And we'll be in the green market. We'll cruise around there for a second. Up this way is if, there, if we have a bad neighborhood, it's right there. It's about three streets long. Uh, long. It's a little neighborhood, but it's, uh, it's the worst neighborhood in La Fortuna. I don't want to say ghetto, but kind of. Over here, uh, right, uh, the green market's here. We're going to go in in a minute. Over here is the Poly Deportivo. This is where the track is, and they play a lot of soccer here, and it's kind of like a, a not a, like a YMCA, but kind of like a YMCA type of thing. A rec field. They've got uh, gym equipment. They've got an indoor like court area. They've got a track field. Yeah, they... people go walking over there. Now I live just down here to the left, so I'm uh, I'm very close here. So this here is the green market. I'm gonna have to mask up, Michael. Oh really? Yes. All right, we got to be nice. I got to put the mask on. We wanna spread the Rona. Now guys, we're probably not gonna do a whole lot of pricing because A, a lot of stuff is in, is in grams and stuff and there's that conversion between grams and pounds. Then there's also the conversion be uh, between 600 colonies. It's 600 colonies to a dollar. Oh man, I didn't bring my phone to convert any of this. But anyways, they've got uh, obviously the restaurant here that they didn't have before. So uh, this is their restaurant menu. Tamales for a thousand colonies. Picadillo, so, 2,000. Casados, 3,000. Uh, rice and, and uh, pork, 2,500. Uh, rice so, and chicken. So if you divide 600 into 2,500, that would be the price in dollars. Or divide 600 uh, with 3,000, obviously that's $5. So that casado is $5. All right, let's go in. So you get a little bit of these. These are, uh, looks like some wood products for the kids. Pretty sure it's handmade. Yeah, these are all handmade. And those are the Costa Rican coffee uh, makers. Co I have makers. my, I forget what these are called, Socks. but I have uh, <laughs> coffee out of this every morning and every afternoon. Hola. Hey. Hi. Hey, como estas? Can you do it? <laughs> He's getting big. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so <laughs> so huge. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> so this is what local spices and peanuts and cheese. Uh, I'm pretty sure all from the local area and coffee. Yeah. So these are all the farmers. They come in from all over and they sell their products. They also sell stuff like this, lotions and oils. Uh, breads, pretty sure, uh, fresh farm chicken eggs. Yeah, I, I eat uh, probably one of these. I eat one of these at least once a week. Oh my god, really? I eat a lot of eggs, yeah. That would last me like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a local New Yorker, Michelle. She's down here for a few years and she's now opened up her business selling uh, organic. We have an organic farm located in Halri, which is just outside of uh, La Fortuna. And uh, we have, yes, all organic. What's your, what's your biggest seller? My knock your ass out tea <laughs> is my biggest seller. This tea right here is made with Dramilona, also known as Mimosa Purica. It's a very powerful uh, sedative and um, relaxing, relaxant. It also has uh, leaves of Naranja Agria, which is a uh, bitter orange leaves and other citrus leaves. It's a combination. I make wonderful healing salves for all kinds of issues. Uh, tinctures, volcanic masks, as well as whatever organic fruits and veggies are ready on the farm. All from Costa Rica, all grown all, here, all, all made all here. Home now, home I don't know if, you, if the mics picked up all that, but this is the tea she sells. I probably did pick it up, but I just want to make sure. Yes. This is the tea. She's got some uh, healing salves. I have for bone, ligament, tendon issues. I have my own natural neosporin. 
Um, I have a deep conditioner for hair, skin, and nails. You know, you know products. what? Let's let's get your. Uh, e is this your email? What is this? No, that is my Instagram handle and my WhatsApp number. Natural.medicine.cr. There you go, guys. If you're interested in this natural homemade stuff good stuff right there getting michelle's contact. the one to get it from <laughs> and if you can't recognize that face right there is the same as that little one you just saw earlier <laughs> oh you met many me yes. yeah he's cute he's we're, we're laughing at it because i'm a little bit bigger than my, my man yeah you know, my kid's about nine years but old. the heads are the same he's right he's gonna be like you go to bed he's like dad i don't want to and yeah like, I told you. he's That's getting cute. big he's so big so he's a big. Steaks and asking for booze at the same time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> are these mimonies? What are those? This is a chug day. This is a very powerful antioxidant loaded with beta carotenes. This is all organically hand processed on my uh, farm. And this is great for anti inflammatory. You can put it as a food colorant in your food or you can put a little spoon in your tea as an anti inflammatory. Get all your beta carotenes. This is a natural deodorant made with uh, uh, bakery soda base and essential oils. Oh yes. No more aluminum. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, and this is a this is a antifungal, antibacterial tincture spray. So if you have a rash or an insect bite or anything like that, just spray that bad boy on there and voila. You need it for all those mosquitoes. Yes, it is great. Yeah. I live in the jungle. Trust yeah, me. That's the right. first thing I was like, mosquito yeah. net and spray. I'm yes. looking for something that replaces soap. Should I not point you to the soap lady? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, There's a lot of stuff. she's got some good stuff. I love her rice soap for shaving. Oh my god. I mean, stuff that's totally or is it or totally organic? It's all homemade. She is. She's she's the real deal. She really makes really wonderful products. I'm actually uh, collaborating with her on a Kuku Mecha soap. Kuku Mecha is an iron bomb. This helps to cure anemia, eczema, and psoriasis. He's trying to get you in the mic. Oh, <laughs> I just. I, I, like, are we gonna make out? How you doing, baby? <laughs> Well, I just want to make sure. I just, I just want to make sure we're getting this. I think we are, but yeah. I want to make sure. That's all. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna cruise on. Cool. What are we shooting for? We'll make out late. What? What are you, what are you filming for? Uh, this is our YouTube channel. Oh, I, you know, I've been hearing about you. I've been hearing about you for five years. I've been here, but I don't think I've ever. Been you here. live here. Why would you, why would you watch oh, it? Okay. Yeah. You, you could do the videos yourself. I'm living the videos. Right. Yeah, you are. Yeah, nobody that really lives here watches them because you've already. Living it so maybe if she's inclined we'll come back and interview her about moving down here and having a kid down here and living life in and what, the jungle. And what she's doing with her and, life. yeah that's how she started video. a business I came out here to be a white water rafting guy and that's one of the king of the hey. hey we have a more than a few people that watch our videos and they love expat I, I, I interviews know, I know there's I met a man like three years ago who came here to find you yeah there's well there's a lot more people doing that now yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right all right we'll talk later <laughs> Okay, those are the soaps. I really do want to find a, a nice organic natural well, soap. Well, she would be your lady. It does look uh, handmade and organic, I'm sure. Are you, are you recording a kind of a document, documental? Yes. He's a candidate for the president of Costa Rica, so you're lucky. Oh, yeah? He's a candidate. Yeah, what's he do? He's a, a doctor. Uh, he's running for the presidential election as a candidate. Oh, really? Of, of a party, so you can interview him. Oh, you want to you want to change my video into a political? No. Uh, no. Oh, I see Say, what you're doing now. No. Saying that you love me, that you found a candidate on on my country. Uh huh. Could be the next president. Is he running for Congress? What's he running for? For president. For president. Oh, Michael, president. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, so that. What's the minute chance for you to find a candidate? Yeah. For the president is on the streets in Costa Rica. That's, That's cool. What I mean. okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's not a political issue. It's your, your luck. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you can ask me whatever you want. <laughs> I will. I'll come right back around. Okay. What that guy just said is an example of what we get in emails every day. A million times, people wanting to do videos like that. Uh, yeah, different videos around here. But we don't get into the political realm, although it is the uh, presidential election coming up uh, in February, when the start of the elections.
Man, I believe this lady's been here for the last 15 years. Really? Selling her? veggies. Her? Yeah. Smells nice and good. Guys, I'm sorry we're not going over these prices. I I'm just going to tell you it's reasonable. <laughs> Now over here, I don't know if it's any Jesus. really cheap, 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 but it's usually quality stuff. And it's local farm stuff. So you're buying from the locals, you're buying from the yeah, local farmers, you're supporting the local businesses. That's their cheese. I'm not a big, uh, not a huge fan of Costa Rica cheese. Cause I'm a big, I'm a big cheese guy. Fishes over here, tilapia. Well, yeah, yeah tila tilapia is huge here in Costa Rica. It's everywhere. Got some mangoes. <laughs> oh, wait, let's get them. There they are. There There's they are. <laughs> Smuggle. He's such a boy. He's just all about cars. He's going to sleep. He's like, yeah. Oh my gosh. It, this is. This is. This is. This is <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bien, bien, muy bien. Sí. <laughs> so that's her husband that we saw earlier. He's a rafting uh, guide. Delicioso. There's my avocados. I have at least one of those every day for sure. They are getting somewhat pricey. Are they? Avocados in general, oh, yes. Oh, well, yeah, avocados, yes. There's some prices over there if you want to get that sign, Michael. Well, if you can. Okay, so what you can do is, if you guys can read this Spanish, just remember, divide 600 into all these. That is too far. No, what? Let's see. So obviously those are... Yeah. One uh, pineapple for all of you people out there. Uh, fresh Costa Rican pineapple, that's only 900 colones. You know, I wanna say, I, I try to tell this story every time. When we first got to Costa Rica, somebody goes, hey, you want some pineapple? And I'm, I was thinking of the United States, and I was like, I like pineapple, but I can only have one or two bites because it gets too acidic. And he goes, no, not this pineapple. And I tried it, and I'll be damned. It was the sweetest, most scrumptious, Fruitful flavor, not ever. acidic -y as you would get yeah, it if it it's a, it's took a month to travel Costa to Rica, you. <laughs> yeah, Costa Rica pineapple is the some of the best pineapple in the world. It's just un unfortunately by the time it gets to you, it's just I don't know, not as good. Not as good. I don't see anything here out of the ordinary that they wouldn't find in the states, right? Like no, just like a mamochino or a. We sell a lot of this, a lot of aloe which yeah. obviously you guys have the different bananas they got two the thing here, with the the thing with a lot of the fruits here they're very seasonal so i don't see some of my favorites i don't see uh, guava here mamonis this is probably like an orange here but it's uh they don't get orangey orangey orange like in the states nor do their lim lemons get yellowy this is the local market fridays only yeah so I actually want to get out of here before that president got here. Ah. <laughs> I don't need to get involved in all that. And let's go. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the green market. It happens here in La Fortuna every Friday. You know what? It really happens all around uh, Costa Rica. Maybe not on a Friday, but every town's got their own uh, a little market or green bazaar market. going on. Actually, we are doing about two more videos today. We're going to do. And some ours is right here uh, next to the bull rink. <laughs> yeah. They still do have, not bull fights, where they kill the bulls. These are more like taunting No, it's <laughs> called drink cacique, get drunk, and mess with the bulls. Yeah. Before they mess with you. So that's our bull ring. All right, guys, man. Have a, I think this, you're going to see this tomorrow, which will be Saturday. Anyways, have a good one. I'm, I'm Michael Allen. I'm D'Angelo, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Hey, remember, things are going to pop up. And when you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere, you should always do your homework. And there's no better place to start than our videos, man. We'll put our videos up against anybody's. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, everyone says, I saw your videos. No, you didn't. We have over 600. Ciao.